Good morning, y'all. Um, this is Saturday, the 28th of September. I know I haven't done any videos. I don't think I've done any videos this past week. But felt like coming on here and doing this one. And no, it's not about makeup. Um, just wanted to share something. All is good. Um, here in Alabama, it's cloudy, a bit breezy. Temperature is in low 60s. It's about 8 o'clock here right now. And I have been up since 6. <clears throat> um, anyways, so I know that I told y'all about this little booklet that the lady that I clean for gave to me. Y'all, I can't say enough about how much I am enjoying this. I was actually, my daughter was here yesterday. Uh, there's a story behind yesterday. Um, but um, I was actually telling her, and I've told other of my kids, I said, y'all, I'm enjoying this little book so much. Uh, and I'm not promoting it. I'm just, I, I'm sure there's a way that you can order it. But to get to it, to get to it, get to it, Becky, get to it. So, um, I told her, I said, it, it's so weird and really it's not weird. It's providential. Um, it's like every day I read the little storyline <clears throat> that goes along with it. It fits something I'm dealing with. So I'll give you a little bit about yesterday. So yesterday I didn't have to work for anybody else. I worked for Becky and Ryan. In our garage, which is actually Ron's man cave, and he's always telling me like I'm telling him about my kitchen. I'm like, stay out of my kitchen. I'll take care of it. And he tells me, stay out of my garage. I'll take care of it. I'm like, mm, okay. Well, anyways, it's just in the, it's chaotic in the garage. It's chaotic, you know. I'm like, golly, we've been here coming up on three years. Or has it been three years? I've lost track of time. I said, we got to get some organization in this garage so that when you need to go find something, you know where it's at. And I know where it's at. For instance, like, you know, if he's working on something outside the garage and he says, hey, go get me such and such. And I, that's happened many times. Even a hammer. He would, if he tells me, go get a hammer, I'll go down there and I'm like, where the crap do I look? Where, where, where would be, if I were Ron, where would I put a hammer? I could go down another rabbit hole on that one, but I won't. Okay, so I'm trying to make this short and sweet. So yesterday, um, we did a little errand in the morning. We came back and we had to be in the garage for a second. And I'm like, no time like the present. I'm going to start. Because we really, you know, weather outside because of the hurricane and all that's just not, you can't do things outside. But anyway, so I'm like, it's still early in the day. Let's get started. Even if we can start with just a little space right here, clear it all off, clear that shelf off, clear that shelf off, clear that shelf off, move it over here, and let's get some organization into this. So, I'm getting there, folks. I know I'm slow. So, we were going gung-ho at it. And as always, you know, I pull out a shower head, an old nasty shower head, and I'm like, why are we keeping this? Well, you know, just soak it in vinegar, and if something happens to the other one, and then I look, and there's another shower head. And I'm like, why? Why? I said, this is going in the garbage, going in the garbage, going in the garbage. Then I pulled out some rusty bars that go on our grill, and I'm like, why? Why? Do you know how much those things are? And I'm like, but why? I, I, the way I look at it, if something happens, okay. So, I threw those in the garbage. I threw a lot of things in the garbage. 
And then, right in the process of it all, we've probably been working down there probably maybe an hour, hour and a half. And my daughter, um, well, she tried to call me first, and then she texted. But I had left my phone upstairs on the charger, and I had to come upstairs to get something. And I just picked up my phone. I noticed that I had two texts and one missed call from my daughter. And I'm like, well, let's just, what's she saying? And she says, oh, um, just letting you know, I just picked um, Olivia up, and we're going to be passing by. So I thought I'd stop by so you could see her. Well, she's actually, she is a mama of my grandson, but she's actually babysitting this weekend for her brother, my other son, and my granddaughter. She said, so I thought, just thought since I had her with me, I'd stop her by and you could, she could see BB and you could see Libby. I'm like, oh, why? You know, that was my first reaction. I'm like, it's not often I can get Ron into the garage and try to do a little bit of organizing. Do y'all know where this is going? I'm like, golly geez. I'm like, so I called her and I said, hey, you know, I'm sorry. I just came up here. And as always, you put your phone down and you walk away. And within five minutes, somebody's going to call you. I said, but anyways. So she told me again what she had said in the text. She says, she says, yeah, I just picked Olivia up and um, we're just about to take your exit. And I'm like, and I said, okay. And uh, she could probably see the expression on my face because we know each other well. Because I had told her what we were doing. Well, um, anyways, um, I said, well, this is good anyway. I said, because Ron and I weren't really even keeping up with the time. And I didn't realize it's 2 o'clock and we had not eaten lunch. I said, so I guess what we're going to do, um, we'll just go ahead and make sandwiches and have our lunch and late lunch and whatever and just wait for y'all to get here. Because when she said that she's taking my exit, that meant she'd be here in like 10 minutes. So she got here with my little grandbaby and y'all, she is the prettiest little baby. And I am not biased because she's mine. Anybody that sees this little, little doll says the same thing. Really. So after she got here, I'm like, who cares about the garage? I'm seeing this little baby right here, and she's, she's, I love it. So we just went, and we sat down in the living room. We played with toys, and yada, yada, and we had a good time. Two, Holly was probably only here, maybe, I don't know. And, well, when she told me she was coming, I'm like, well, is Carson with you, too? Because I was hoping to see Carson and Olivia. Well, anyway, long story short, it was all good, y'all. And... After they headed out, we still went back in the garage and continued working. But it was a nice, sweet little visit, and I got to see my grandbabies. And then, after that, later that evening, my daughter texts back, or, and she says, Sorry, did not mean to... Um, rain on your little parade of your productivity and getting that garage cleaned out. Uh, I just thought since I had Olivia, I figured every chance I have, I'm going to bring her by so you can see her. And it kind of made me feel bad because I'm like putting something like cleaning out a garage over seeing your grandbabies. So I text her back and I said, and I was honest with her. I said, look, I said, the way I look at it, Family is far more important than cleaning out a garage. Um, I said, and to be honest, when you said you were on your way by, I was like, oh, why now? Because I finally, me and Ron are actually working together, not against each other. And I've really got him on the bandwagon of getting some organization and getting that garage cleaned out. I said, but you know what? You know, when you got here with little precious Olivia, and I see that sweet little smile and those big old blue eyes and those Shirley Temple curls. I said, excuse my language, piss on the garage. This is far more important. Um, so it didn't take, I said, so those feelings of, uh, is this the right word? Exasperation came over me. I said, 
they went right out the roof as soon as I saw Olivia. So, this, I'm going to read y'all. And again, y'all, just look, it's, it's short. It won't take me long. And the title of it is Come Sit With Me, okay? And again, this paralleled with yesterday. I read this this morning, so... Um, the verse was um, Luke 10, 39. She had a sister named Mary who also sat at the Lord's feet and was listening to what he said. Okay, so this is a little thing that this woman wrote. She said, and it starts off like this. Mom, would you come sit with me? My daughter asked as she sat at the kitchen island completing her homework. Why do you need my help? I questioned as I continued the meal prep for dinner. No, I don't need help. I just want you to be with me, she answered. Okay, now Paul's right here. I hear Elvis calling me. Did yeah? You pull the turkey out? I don't have to do it. Oh, we're not doing it? No, because Holly found wings. Oh, okay. I'll be, at, I'll be done with this in just a second. Okay, so um, back to this. Um, so the little girl had asked, no, I don't, uh, I don't need help with my homework. I just want you to sit with me. So she says, immediately my heart softened and I stopped my task to sit beside her. My daughter's simple request convicted me of what was the best choice at the moment. So often I mistake, so often I mistakenly think she feels most love when I do acts of service for her. But the truth is, she just wants me to be with her. As I reflect on this, re on this interaction with my daughter, I'm reminded of the story of Mary and Martha. Martha, ha I can't pronounce this word, Hos hospitally, I can't, that's awful. I can't pronounce it. I mean, it just, my mind froze, but. I think H O S P I T A B L Y hospitably hospitably opened her home to Jesus and was understandably distracted by all the preparation that needed to be made for a guest. Her sister Mary, on the other hand, simply sat at Jesus' feet listening to what he said. With so much to be done, Martha was aggravated that Mary wasn't helping her. When when she brought her frustration to the attention of Jesus, he commended Mary for sitting with him and confirmed she had made the right choice. My daughter's comment was the gentle nudge I needed to remember the value of being present with her and also with God. May I give you the same gentle nudge? Don't be so worried about the task you think you need to do. Remember, God simply wants to be with you sit with him. How can you intentionally sit with Jesus and with others today? And then a little prayer. Lord, thank you for always welcoming me to sit with you. And so, yeah, there's a Mary and there's a Martha in all of us. And how much more important it is to be more of the Mary than, Martha, than not the Martha. But do y'all see how that little thing just hit home with what I experienced yesterday. So, and um, I'll say this real fast, and i got to go see what Ron needs. Um, but um, <clears throat> how often, how often, uh, uh, me for instance, I say, oh, well, I've got this, I've got this, I've got this, I've got this. The bed. This is a guest room. It's it's packed. It's packed high again, y'all. This desk I'm sitting at looks like a complete disaster. And I'm always talking about, got to get this done, got to get this done, got to get this done. Well, here's one way I look at it, too. You know, if I didn't have so much to do all the time, life would probably be boring. 
but on the note of what happened yesterday and with this right here that I read, this stuff, this stuff, this stuff is always going to be here, no matter what. Don't let this kind of stuff bog you down. It is more important to have quality time with your loved ones and with the Lord than it is about the cares of this life, y'all. 58 years old and I'm still learning. And um, I hope y'all understood what I was trying to say here. And on those, on another note, this is the first video I'm going to put up for today. But there's something, there's another video I want to do later when I find time. And for you that enjoy watching me put my makeup on, um, hopefully, hopefully, if the day goes as planned, we may go out to eat tonight. And if that happens, I will probably put makeup on and do a potential makeup video. So, um, anyways, there's that. So I'm gonna get off here. Now it is 8.15 and uh, I need to get the day going because I do have things I need to get done. When do I not? When do we not? But um, hope you enjoyed it. Would love to hear you back in the comments and I hope y'all have a great day great weekend and hope all was safe and um, God is good he's always good and he's there for us always so see y'all